Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindran Pule. In this session, I shall explain about fluent assertions in XUnit. So, let's start. In the previous session, we learned the importance of unit test method naming, the steps involved in naming XUnit test methods, and how to parameterize XUnit test methods. In this session, I shall explain what is an assertion, what is fluent assertion, how to add fluent assertions in our XUnit test project, and how to replace XUnit assert with fluent assertion. Now, what are assertions? Assertions are the gatekeepers of unit testing. They are statements that express the expected behavior of your code. Assertions typically consist of two components, actual result and expected result. Actual result is the output produced by executing the code being tested. Expected result is the predefined outcome you anticipate based on the input or conditions provided to the code. Unit tests are usually a must-have part of building and maintaining a software application. If they don't align, the test fails, signaling a potential issue in your code. Fluent Assertions is a wonderful library of extension methods. The goal of Fluent Assertions is to make unit tests easier to write and read. These extension methods read like sentences. Fluent assertions, unique features, and a large set of extension methods achieve these goals. This makes it easy to understand what the assertion is testing for. Additionally, test failures by fluent assertions are very clear as to why the assertion has failed. Now, let's see how to add fluent assertion library in XUnit project. For that, let me flip to Visual Studio. Now let me add the fluent assertions nuget package in the calculator library.xunit project. For that, let me right click on this project and go to manage nuget packages and go to the browse tab. And here you can search for fluent assertions. Select fluent assertions and click on install. Now this green tick ensures that the fluent assertions is installed in our package. Now let me switch to the solution explorer. Let me go to the calculator test.cs. Now, let's take this unit test method. Here, the assert statement is already there. I have used the assert class of XUnit library to check whether the expected result and the actual result is the same. Now, if you look at the test name, it clearly states that the add method should take two integer numbers and should return an integer. Similarly, I would like to have my assertion statements. Here the requirement is that the actual result should be the expected result. This is possible by using the fluent assertion extension methods. So let me comment this code and here you can say actual result dot should be expected result. That's it. Now this code looks more elegant. Now let me copy this code and paste it in our subtract method. So let me command subtract test. Similarly to the multiply test. So let me command this one. And let me go to the divide. Add this and command this one. Now it is not mandatory to use the fluent assertions. I prefer fluent assertions because it reads like sentences and makes it easy to understand what the assertion is testing for. Now, let me open the text explorer and run all the tests. For that, let me click on the test and click on the test explorer and let me click on run all tests. And here you can see that all the tests got passed by using the fluent assertions. Now, let me switch to the calculator.cs. Here I have used one fluent assertion method extension method should. Similarly, if I type actual result dot, there are so many extension methods available. In my upcoming sessions, I shall explain some of these fluent assertion extension methods. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next X unit updates. Thank you.